So for today's Sunday case study, we have a 24-year-old female who's had back pain for a few weeks. She lifted something really heavy and felt a little twinge in her back. So she's been to the chiropractor for a few visits and had some manipulation. She's been doing okay, but then all of a sudden today, she's began to develop severe pain, pain that radiates down both legs and some numbness in her groin. In fact, she's had some difficulty going to the bathroom and has noticed that she peed on herself. She's also had some numbness in her butt area and hasn't been able to have a bowel movement normally either. So she came to the ER because she was really worried about this. Upon arrival to the emergency department, she does have severe pain and her examination really cannot be performed because of how much pain she's in. It is noted that she does have numbness in her groin and her private area as well as her butt. So a stat MRI of her lumbar spine was performed. Here's her MRI. So what do you see on the MRI and what is her diagnosis? And what is the treatment? So for any new followers I have, basically drop your comment with the answer. And I will also comment tomorrow with a video response with the answer. Thank you and have a good day. Summary of yesterday's case study. It was a 24-year-old female that had had back pain or a little twinge in the back after lifting something heavy a few weeks ago. But then the day she presented to the emergency department, she began to develop severe back pain and pain radiating down both legs with urinary incontinence and the inability to feel in her groin area. This was the MRI scan that was done in the emergency department. And so what we see is this is the L4 bone. This is the L5 bone or these uh, gray squares. And then down here is the sacrum or the tailbone. And so in between these bones are the discs. Okay, so that's a disc and that's a disc. And what we see at this L4-5 disc is a large disc extrusion. And then here we see a smaller disc extrusion. So this stuff right here, this is disc that's all within the spinal canal that's compressing the nerves that go from her L4 and below. And that's the shooting leg pains and then the groin numbness she has. Most of you guys hit the nail right on the head. This is an emergency. It is called cauda equina syndrome. Basically, you have severe compression in the nerves in the back that's causing urinary incontinence or inability to go to the bathroom. And that's because of severe compression on the nerves that go to that area or the sacral nerves. It doesn't always have to be accompanied with leg pain or with back pain, and it can happen in isolation without pain. So this is a picture of what a lumbar disc looks like, and I describe it as like a jelly donut. So you have this pink stuff, which is called the annulus, and that's the coating or the donut portion. And then the green stuff, which is the nucleus or the softer like material. So what happens when you lift something heavy or injure your back, you began to develop back pain. So that's when she felt the twinge in her back. So that's where she tore that pink stuff and, and uh, began to develop that back pain or twinge in which sent her to the chiropractor. Now, the day that she woke up and began to experience all the new symptoms of the severe pain, the urinary incontinence, the numbness, and all of those things is when she actually suffered the disc extrusion, which is this picture here where you have all the green stuff or the inner contents that leaked out within the spinal canal and caused severe compression of the nerves. And that time is of the essence here, and this patient needs surgery, and she needs surgery as soon as possible in order to restore her bowel and bladder function back to normal. This is the type of surgery that the surgeon comes in in the middle of the night for because we want to get that pressure off of the nerves as soon as possible. This patient underwent an emergent microdiscectomy at L4-5 and a discectomy as well as L5-S1, although that one wasn't causing the cauda equina syndrome but still needed to be dealt with. She did great after surgery because she presented so acutely after the findings and the MRI scan was astutely found in the emergency department and she recovered completely. So for more cases like this, please comment on what other cases you'd like for me to talk about. And I hope you guys learned something from today's study.